Hey there, Sam. When it comes to programming, there are three types of paradigm, procedural, object-orientated, and functional. In the early days of programming, there's only procedural styled programming. Procedural code are written as step-by-step -step instructions. For example, declaring a variable and writing an if statement here are procedural because we're just writing down the instructions in sequential order without any fancy magic. Although procedural style programming is simple, it does have its shortcoming. Procedural code is very verbose. That means it's very explicit because we need to write down the step-by-step -step instructions in a very detailed way. And that makes procedural code very hard to read and lengthy, which is not very convenient for us humans to read and understand the code. It is also very hard for us to reuse procedural code. If we want to apply the same logic in multiple places, in a lot of time, the only way to do this is to copy and paste, which is a big no-no. So programmers eventually came out with a new paradigm called object-orientated programming to solve the issues of procedural programming. Now in object-orientated programming, as the name suggests, everything is based on objects. So now instead of writing step-by-step -step instructions in one place, we will delegate or separate the task into smaller chunks and put them into entities called object. In other words, we're hiding the programming logic within object. And this concept is called encapsulation in object-oriented programming. So by splitting our logic into smaller modules, it helps us to reuse and maintain our code better in the long run. If something breaks, we would know which object is causing the problem, and we would just need to fix the logic inside that object, rather than going through a few thousand lines of code and find out which line is causing the problem. We actually have seen object-oriented programming in JavaScript a lot of times already. For example, the console log function. This is a perfect example to demonstrate object-oriented programming. So the log function is living within the console object, and the console object is a built-in object provided by JavaScript. When we use this log function, we don't really need to care about how it was implemented. All the logic is hidden within the console object. As the user, all we need to know is that the log function will print out a line in the console. And every time we need to log something in a console, we just need to call this function from the console object over and over again. In other words, we can easily reuse this function across our program. Another example would be the getItem function from the local storage. Again, the getItem function is just a function that lives within the local storage object. We can keep reusing this function wherever we want without worrying about how it was implemented inside the local storage object. Can you see the benefit of object-oriented programming now? By hiding the logic within objects, we can abstract away the complicated logic and just worry about how do we interact with these objects and it will make our code looks very, very clean and easy to read. The third paradigm, functional programming, relies very heavily on functions, as the name suggests. In functional programming, we describe our programming logic using functions, and the code will read very much like English. Functional code is very declarative. That means just by reading the code, we will know the intention right away. I'll show you a quick example. So suppose I have an array of fruits here, and I want to convert every one of them into uppercase and then filter out the fruits that has less than four characters. To achieve this in functional programming, we'll call some of the JavaScript array helper functions that use functional programming techniques. First, I'll map each fruit into uppercase. Once I'm done, I'll call the filter function on the result and filter out all the fruits that have more than four characters. Now looking at this code, it reads a lot like English, right? and it tells us what it's doing in a very declarative way. Again, we're simply mapping each fruit or converting each fruit into uppercase, and we're doing a filter where we tell JavaScript we only want the fruit that has more than four characters. And that's the whole point of functional programming, creating meaningful function so our code will be easier to read and cleaner. If we were to achieve the same in a non-functional way, let's compare how it would look like against functional programming code. First, I'll create an empty array to store our result. Then I'll have a for loop to loop through the fruits array. And in each loop, I'll check the length of the fruits, if it is greater than four or not. If yes, then we'll push the uppercase fruit to our result array. And now let's just stop here for a few moments and compare these two blocks of code. The lower block is much more verbose than the upper block. And we have to read and try to interpret it before we can understand the context of this code. While the functional programming way tells us right away what the code is doing. And that is the power of functional programming. We are writing cleaner and clearer code. And just one more time, procedural programming is where we write our logic as step-by-step -step instructions. Object-oriented programming, OOP for short, hides logic within objects. 
and we call it encapsulation in programming terms. Functional programming, or FP, describe the logic using functions. Now at this point, you might be asking, which paradigm does JavaScript belongs to? The answer is, surprisingly, none of them. JavaScript is a very unique language. It is actually based on something called the prototype. We'll be discussing more about the prototype in a future video. However, JavaScript is a very flexible language, and it does support the functional and object-oriented style of programming. And in the next few lessons, we'll be looking exactly on object-oriented programming in JavaScript. So I'll see you there. Key takeaway for this lesson, procedural programming is about writing logic as step-by-step -step instructions. Object-oriented programming, or OP for short, is about splitting the logic or task into modular components known as objects so that we can easily reuse our logic. Functional programming relies heavily on functions, and we describe our logic using functions. JavaScript is a prototype-based language. However, it does support features in object-oriented programming and functional programming. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.